Welcome to the Burke County Quality of Life Explorer Beyond Basics tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn what a filter is and how to apply one, how to extract data by using export the CSV file, and how to print a map by using the print widget. A filter presents a focused view of a feature layer in a map. By limiting the visibility of features in a layer, you can reveal what's important. For example, you might create a filter on the church layer so only churches with school backpack programs appear on the map. Before we can create a filter on the church layer so only churches with backpack programs appear on the map, we need to know how this data is recorded in the layers attribute table. We're going to open up the layers attribute table and we're going to find the school backpack attribute because that's what we want to filter. Once we have located the column, we're going to scroll through the rows and see what information was recorded in the fields. Scrolling through the rows, we see three different things. We either see the letter Y, the letter N, or the field is blank. In this case, the Y means yes and the ends mean no. And if the field is empty, we don't have any information recorded for that church. What this means is that if there's a Y in the field, then that church offers the school backpack program. And if there's an N, then that church does not offer the school backpack program. Now we know how the information is recorded in the attribute table, we can apply the filter. We begin by dropping down options, which is located in the attribute table menu bar. From here, we are going to select filter, and then we're going to pick out a filter expression. The filter expression has three different parts, the field part, the operator part, and then the field where you would type in a value field or what's unique. For the field part of the expression, click the field drop down arrow and choose the field you want to query. For this example, we want to filter churches that have school backpack program. We are going to drop this down and select school backpack. For the operator part of the expression, click the operator's drop down arrow and choose an operator from the list. For this example, we choose is because we are applying a filter based on a specific value. Since we are filtering based on a specific value, we make sure a value is selected and we type in the specific value. From looking at the attribute table earlier, we saw that if there is a Y in the field, then that church offers a school backpack program. We now type Y in the field. Remember when you do a filter based on a specific value, that the value you type in has to be exactly how it was recorded in the attribute table. Now click OK and this will enable the filtered view on the map. Export the CSV file creates a comma separated values file when you export from a layer. This file can then be opened in applications such as Excel. For example, you might want a spreadsheet of all child care centers within Burke County. We can extract this data from the Quality of Life Explorer by using the export the CSV file command. Before we can export the data, we need to open up the layers attribute table. And from here, we are going to drop down options, which is located in the attribute tables menu bar. Once we have dropped that down, we are going to select export all to CSV. After this, a prompt will appear asking you if you want export data to CSV file. We are going to click OK and this will activate the export. Next, click on the download and this will open up the CSV file in Excel. For another example, we want a spreadsheet of all child care centers with a five star license in Burke County. We can create a filter on the child care center layer so only centers with a five star license will appear on the map and then we can export this, da this data to CSV. In the child care attribute table in the license column we know that if five star center license was entered into the field that it's a five star rated center. So we are going to copy this five star center license and use it to create the filter. We go back into options and choose filter. 
add a filter expression, drop down field to select license, select is as the operator, and since we're doing a filter based on a, on a specific value, we are going to paste file star center license into the value field. Click OK to apply the filter, and this enables the filtered view on the map. After this, we are going back into options and click export all to CSV. The prompt export data CSV file will appear again and click OK. Next, click on the download and this will open up the file in Excel. This is the spreadsheet for all child care centers with a five star license in Burke County. Users can print a map by using the print widget. The print widget connects the web application with a printing service to all the current map to print. For example, if I wanted to print a map where all the farmers markets are located in Burke County, I could easily do this with the Burke County Quality Life Explorer. To create this map, I will apply a filter to the farmers markets, community gardens, farm stands layer. I'm going to turn the layer on and open up its attribute table. I am going to locate the programs column and copy farmers market from the column. Then I'm going to apply the filter by dropping down options, click filter, add a filter expression, then I'm going to select programs, is, and paste uh, farmers markets into the value field and click OK. This will apply the filter that only farmers markets are displayed on the map. Before I print the map, I am going to get rid of the attribute table, layer list, and click the default extent button that looks like a house. To print, click the print icon located in the lower left corner of the map to open the print widget. Next, we will enter our map title, farmers markets located in Burke County, into the map title text box. We will next select the map layout format that we want. I'm going to take the default layout. But if you drop down the layout, you can choose between portrait and landscape orientation and different sizes. If you drop down format, you can export it out as different image files or as a PDF. After all options have been set, I will click print to submit all information to the print service. Upon completion of the print job, a link to the print output displays, and then I will click the task to open the file in a new window. And here you are, a map of all farmers markets located in Burke County.